Hello, hello, and welcome to Rory's Brain Works, where we get creative and see if it works. Today, we're going to be working with a chest harness that traps the hands in the front. Uh, people have simply known this chest harness to be called hands in front harness. <laughs> I learned it as X's in the front, and you'll see why when we get into it. It is going to be one of those situations, Marie. Enjoy. Hey, as long as you're staying out of trouble, that's all I care about. Speaking of staying out of trouble, remember, safe, saint, and consensual, everyone. Safety, be sure to have some safety shirts with you at all times. You can always get a new rope, can't get a new life. And consensual, me, Marie, and Crochet Rory are all consenting adults. Communication is key. Now, before we deep dive into the X's in the front harness, we must first thank my sponsor, me, and my gaming YouTube. Hello, hello, and welcome to Rory's Game Works, where we play some games and see if they work. Today, we're back at Horizon Forbidden West. President Evil Inscription, the Man of Madame. Ha 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 ha, Aloy. Master Hunter of Machine. Ah, there's more. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. Stupid building! You won't live long! <laughs> You know... Alright, we're gonna make this one almost as simple as possible. We're gonna take the bite of our ropes, we're going to wrap around, and just like tying a shoe, we're gonna go across, and then again, to make a square knot. Make sure that's nice and good. Now I know a few of you might be going, Rory, a square knot in this? How dare you, especially around the wrists? Well, a square knot is simple and non-cinching. That's the best part of it. When you want to work with the wrists, you want to be non-cinching and you want to have about a finger of space around it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move it around a bit to where the square knot is on the front and then we're going to lift the arms up. All right, now once here, we're going to move around towards the back. So we're going to go around And then we're gonna provide some tightness just a little bit because it's gonna pull the square knot with you. Now, in order to adjust the tightness a little bit more, we're gonna go over and then under, going below the square knot. And at this point, we put down our counter tension and that creates a lot of the tightness that we have just right here. And from this point on, we're going to go around the elbow making sure we're not too far down this in way so that we have a good amount of the meat going on. And then once around the elbow, we can add a bit of leverage, get a bit of tautness onto it, because this is one of our main ways to prevent a bit of escape. We have what's going on up here, and then wrapping around the elbow helps out, because it's gonna wrap around the elbow and then go around the torso again. Now, once we've wrapped around the elbow, we're gonna go over and create a munter hitch. If you need help with how to do a munter hitch, I have a beginner's guide right here somewhere. So it's gonna go over and underneath. Then it's gonna cross over itself because the munter hitch is also known as a crossover hitch. And then we're gonna go under again. Add some tautness to that. And then we'll go underneath this rope right here and around. Now, just like we did on the other side, we're going to wrap around the elbow, kind of working in reverse, add a little leverage, tighten it up a little bit, and come back this way. This is where the X is in the front comes from, because it X is in the front with a crossover, aka Munter hitch. So we're going to go over and under, and it's going to cross over itself, and then under again. Tighten that down. Thanks. How's it feeling so far? Feels good. Nice. Feels very tight. Not tight, tight, tight. Good. <laughs> good tight. <laughs> good tight. Good tight. <laughs> Alright, then we're gonna reach underneath these two right here. And then under our self. Add a bit of tightness that way. 
we got a loop right here. We're going to go through that loop, create another loop, go through that loop. Aha! Uh -huh. Tighten that all down. Done with one rope, one 30 foot rope, and we still have a bit of homework rope left. What you want to do with that is all up to you, but right now you conveniently have a nice little leash right here. Interesting, you can move them along or you can tie them to something. How does the escapability feel? Is it all right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that sounds I mean... like a yeah, I can get out of it, but uh, <laughs> for the most part, if you want to enjoy it, yes. Because yes. the next one I have for next week is the Fisherman's Harness, and that one, much harder to escape from. Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed learning from that tutorial as we did uh, teaching it to you. I know, she's been there the whole time being nice and patient. It's kind of unnerving when you think about it. Anyway, I would be remiss if I did not bring up my other sponsors for today, the lovely people over at Nothead Nylon and over at Patreon. That's patreon.com backslash Rory's Brainworks, just like this YouTube channel. They are my rope vanguard, my colonizers of dreams. And without them, all the ropey and video game endeavors that I do would be <laughs> way harder to accomplish. Thank you for spending your time with me. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to this madness, and comment down below what you thought of today's tutorial and what you would like me to make in the future. As always, I'm Rory. This is our brain. I'm fairly certain it works. Be safe and go create some art.